Hey guys, so I can't really do much of a horsey video right now as the ground is a little bit too soft to ride and I am actually currently recovering from an injury from trying to ride and it's just right now I'm going to take it easy. I have a doctor's appointment today just to make sure everything's okay. So anyways, I've got the horsies behind me though. It's super muddy here. We had so much snow and so much rain and then more snow and then more rain. So everything is a disgusting mucky mess. So there's honey and uh, beaner. Oh, beaner died again. She's laying down. Um, anyways, so I had a request to make a video on kind of like what got me into training horses. And really, Maya just lifted it with the back of my shirt and licked it. Gross. I got asked to explain why I got into training horses and like how did I know horses were my like calling, I guess you could say. So. This is going to be really frustrating because I'm actually holding my phone and I'm trying not to block the stupid camera, which I'm doing again. I wish I had a place to set this, but I don't, and I don't have my tripod. Anyways, so uh, what got me into training horses? Well, I've been riding my whole life, it's full, as far as I can remember. I know my cousin used to take me to go ride her horse, who was an Arabian and was a complete spaz attack. And she's probably going to watch this video, so yeah, he was a spaz attack. And... Uh, <laughs> And, but I always loved horses and everything. And in grade three, my grade three teacher actually had horses and asked me to come do chores in exchange for riding lessons and yada, yada, yada. So I started riding a lot, doing a lot of horse shows and all that kind of thing. And I was young, so I didn't really know much. Ow, don't bite. <laughs> Clearly you and I are still in a disagreement. That's Maya being a brat over over there. And uh, she doesn't actually like try and bite hard. She just kind of gives like a love nip and it just it's just enough to make me jump. So anyways, and so I didn't really know much about horses and I rode for so long. And eventually when I was married, I had a horse. Now they're playing with my jacket. And I had a horse and I worked and it was really hard for me because I didn't have a car at the time. So I had to bike everywhere. And it just got to the point where it was frustrating and I didn't feel like I knew very much about horses to really be working with the horse that I had. You're going to break it! Now it's Simon. And uh, so it wasn't until later on I actually had a really bad injury on my ankle. I fell off my long board and caused a bone chip and blah 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 blah. Long story short, they told me I needed surgery or whatnot. Man, that rooster is going to be so annoying in the video later, I'm sorry. And they told me after surgery there's still a good chance I wouldn't be able to ride, so I actually risked the arthritis and started teaching myself to ride bareback. And that is when I started training, and that is about the time I, well, it was injured for a while, but it started getting worse and worse and worse. And that's about the time I started working and riding Aloha, because I got welcomed into her life. And at the time I didn't own her, I was just working with her. So I started working with her and kind of training her and then I started reading up and realizing I really didn't like bits and so I started working to make horses bitless and then eventually it came to the point where I don't know if you guys have ever, oh, sorry I don't want to cover the camera, if you ever heard the term uh, breaking a horse and it's basically in the sense to like kind of break their spirit, break their soul so they listen and I never really liked how people would break a horse, like I'd see how this horse was so much life. And then after training, it would just be like a robot. It would go, okay, I'll do this. Okay, I'll do that. Okay, I'll do that. And it just kind of broke my heart to see something so beautiful be so broken. So I decided if there was a way to train a horse that would keep that. So I studied horses. I would sit in a field with them for hours on end and watch how they interacted with each other and studied them for so long. And eventually I decided I'll give it a shot and start training and seeing if I can keep that spunk in them. And that is what I started doing. Aloha was a great starting project because she was a nightmare and couldn't love her more for it. And then eventually I moved on to other horses. I still was working with her, but I worked on other horses. And then some of my friends would get horses that were unbroke, so I would start breaking horses in a sense. And I'd start, I guess the term is uh, backing them. I think people use the term backing. So... I started backing horses for people who liked my methods that were more natural. I started off bitless 
and everything. And yes, saying that now, some of you are probably gonna go through my older videos and be like, well, Daisy has a bit, and well, Honey has a bit, well, Aloha has a bit. Daisy has a bit, she's not my horse. Uh, Honey's not my horse. Uh, Aloha has a bit because Aloha just likes to play with something. You don't actually, I don't actually really steer her with the bit. I usually have double reins on her and I'll keep her halter on and I'll actually steer her through her halter only. It's only in an emergency situation do I ever grab the reins that are holding the bit. And it's just because Aloha is very food oriented, she likes to chew a lot. Anyways, after being distracted there. And so I started doing that in training because I wanted horses to be the natural way and that's why I trained Maya the way I have. So she's spunky as hell, like there's days where she'll try and kill me and then there's days where we get along and it's mostly right now it's been trying to kill me. She's the one that actually injured me the other day. And uh, I was actually filming for you guys so that will be up, but just the part where I get injured will be kind of, you know, taken out. And so that's kind of how I started doing it. And it's not just um, uh, horses that I guess I would say were my calling, I guess. I've always liked animals, I've always worked with animals. I've had dogs and guinea pigs and rabbits and a zoo full since I was a kid. And I've always liked animals, so animals in general are kind of my calling. So I used to dog walk and work with dogs and train dogs. And I used to love doing that until I actually got bit and then I got scared of dogs. And it took over a year to get over my fear of dogs after being bit. It was a really bad bite. Um, if I don't drop my phone, because I'm actually holding my phone with the arm that got bit. I uh, don't know if you guys will be able to see that scar there. Let's see if I can... Anyways, it's kind of hard to see in the sun, I guess. Ugh, I don't know. Anyways, I have, a, I have two scars on my arm. And you guys have probably seen them in other videos. They show up quite a lot. Sorry, I'm gonna block the camera for a second there. Medianka! She's uh, trying to get the other horses hay. But I'm uh, not supposed to be doing that. And I wonder why all the fences are broken. You are so your mother's daughter. Anyway, so I guess animals were generally my calling, plus animals to me, I just have a higher respect for animals because I've had a really rough childhood growing up and everything, and the one thing I've always learned is animals don't leave you, animals always love you, and they always forgive you for the most part, but they, you know, it's just that, and people let you down, they don't let you down, like, they're gonna do what they're gonna do, and that's about it, so animals kind of gave me a peace of mind especially because I do suffer some from some mental health can I actually like hold it like this okay since I suffer some from some mental health disorders and whatnot and animals just became really easy and riding just became really easy and riding gave me an outlet and eventually I just started training and picking up methods here and there I'd research them and if I never was really sure on something I would research it or sit there and watch the animals like I don't just sit there and be like oh I'm a I'm a grand horse trainer I'm gonna go jump on this horse and in 10 minutes it's gonna be perfect no no I don't do that when I first start working with horses it's I I don't do that I want the horse to know me I want them to like just understand everything that's going on and I don't know it's just I have a lot of different training methods and I think that's what a lot of you subscribers thank you um, actually enjoy is that I am a bit different and a bit more natural I guess would be a way to put it and so I'm just gonna I'm still a little bit sick right now and the cough candy is gonna help because otherwise I'm gonna go into a coughing bit so but I think that's kind of what you guys like about me is because I'm a bit more natural and I try to be as natural as possible yeah there's some errors that I make and I know I do and I'm totally down for if people want to point out things and be like well why don't you try it this way I'd be more than happy to try something a different way and whatnot and that's just what it is I mean horses have always been a high passion since I was a kid and yeah so I hope that answers the question that was asked by a subscriber I think you subscribed I don't know if you did thank you if not that's okay and uh, but I've been so appreciative of all the subscribers I have gotten I never thought it's still a low number compared to other youtubers but even with that number it makes me feel so good knowing that you guys are watching me from wherever you are and that I'm giving you something, so it's either something to watch or something to use or methods to use and it just it makes me feel good knowing that I can help other people with their animals if it's horses or dogs or cats or something because I mean on the farm we've got everything, we even got a pig now, don't ask, 
didn't want the stupid thing, but we got a pig. I wanted to eat it for bacon, but no, apparently it's a pet. Anyways, so hopefully to get back to regular videos pretty quick here and uh, whatnot. As I said, my health has been a little bit bad. I've been in and out of the doctor quite a lot this past month. I have an appointment today also for my old head injury, which if you guys haven't been here for a while, about three years ago, I had brain bleeding and it turned into a huge nightmare. And it's a lot more than was just, it was a lot more than just brain bleeding. And it's not something I'd rather talk about on camera right now. And uh, let's just say it's really bad news. So it's been a bonus. And as you guys probably noticed, I like chopped off all my hair. I've got like next to nothing, which is also due to the brain injury as well. And uh, so, I say, and a uh, lot, I'm sorry. So I hope that kind of fulfills that. Uh, feel free to always ask me questions. I do my best to actually answer your guys' questions on my videos as quick as I can. I know I still have a few other requests that you guys have wanted and have been requesting. So if I ever miss a request or you see a video up and you're like, well, hey, where's my request video? I just leave a comment below and I'll let you know if I've even filmed it and if it's going to go up. Sometimes I forget or I lose the paper I've written it on. I've just moved and everything, so everything's been a bit of a kerfuffle. But I'm hoping that we won't have any more winter. They are forecasting snow again and I hope not. Last time I said a few flurries, it was 100 centimeters of snow. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. It means so much to me. But yeah, no, please leave requests and questions, anything on any of my videos, even this one, anything, you can come over to my Facebook page. It will be Rose33Bud. If it's not linked below, since I am working off my phone quite a lot now, if it's not linked below, it should be linked in my channel description. And feel free to come like it. I post pictures and some videos and you can message me there and just talk to me as a general person. And uh, yeah, so hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for subscribing and sticking with me through the winter months here and kind of crappy not really posting and uh yeah i will have uh the video of maya up uh probably pretty quick here it's about just us doing tricks and just goofing around i guess so i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and i blocked the camera